I know it's a busy week. There's so much art, there's so much culture, there's so much of Africa in London this week. And yet you've made a point of being here. Thank you so much, we appreciate that. Now I'm here to um, maybe put a bit of flavor in the evening, if I can. Um, starting with, you know, being Nigerian, being proud, and being someone who is really passionate about the continent. The work I do um, is something that also ensures that I'm part of African families who take their responsibility as custodians of African wealth very seriously. And what is African wealth if not its art and culture? And today we're celebrating another aspect of African wealth, photography, which hasn't really become mainstream. We want to take it mainstream the way that art, African art, contemporary modern African art is mainstream. And we feel there's a big gap. I'm so proud to have been part of an advisory board with all the members, um, Samson, Hugo, Martin, um, Ayo, all of us very passionate about African art. All of us in our own little way wanting to ensure that this inaugural prize has credibility. It's something that will resonate with everyone because hopefully you all recognize that the artists, the photographers who have been represented here today are really the best in class. Now without much ado, I think one thing we all want to recognize as well is that African photography is not new. And there's a wise gentleman in the room with us today who really set the stage for African photography, who made us understand and appreciate the fact that how important photography is, not just as an art form, but as a something that is a way of archiving our history, a way of really ensuring that we as Africans stand proud and understand that we've been at it, we've been articulate, we've been accomplished, we've been well-dressed for a long time. Mr. James Bano put African photography on the map many years ago, and we're so proud to have an iconic African photographer with us tonight. Can I hear it from James Bano? Yeah. He's going to say a few words to tell us what he thinks about our feeble attempt at following in his footsteps. Mr. James Bowden. 